Hello, welcome to Pumpkin Food. We'll be making apple crisp and we'll start off with the apple filling. We need five apples, doesn't really matter which kind you have, uh, peeled and sliced to one eighth of an inch. And then we have two tablespoons of flour. Just pour it on top. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Three teaspoons of milk. A half teaspoon of vanilla extract. A quarter cup of brown sugar. and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then a little pinch of salt. And then you just wanna get it all incorporated and all mixed. For the crumb topping, we have three-fourths of a cup of flour, three-fourths of a cup of old-fashioned oats, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and another pinch of salt. And now we're gonna use this. Oh, and I, I forgot to add the butter. And a whole stick of butter, cubes. I'm forgetting everything today. You just wanna mix it till it's all crumbly. This is kind of the crust of what an apple pie would. To assemble the apple crisp, we're gonna have a nine by nine baking pan and we wanna put the apple filling apples and spread them out on the pan. And I spilled already. Oh, we're gonna wanna dot it with butter. Oh my. It adds extra flavor. And since I didn't show you guys the crisp, this is what it should look like, kind of chunky. This is what makes it very crispy on the top. You just wanna kinda pour it on top. Just spread it out. And we preheated our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll be back in 30 to 40 minutes when the apple crisp is done. Meanwhile, It's been 
30 minutes. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. We're gonna let it cool for 10 minutes and serve it a la mode with vanilla ice cream.